Hi, I'm here to talk about the rock cycle and how the rock cycle creates three different main categories of rock. Igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. So let's start right here with this stuff. This is magma. And magma is molten material that is beneath the earth. If magma leaves the earth and comes out onto the surface, then it's called lava. But while it's underneath the earth, it's magma. Now if magma cools and turns into rock, that type of rock is igneous. So when magma cools, you end up with igneous rock. And a lot of the rock in the state of California is igneous. In the Sierra Nevadas and Yosemite, all of that granite was formed by magma that cooled beneath the Earth's surface and then was later exposed. Hi, this is Mr. Kish. I'm on uh, Crystal Crag near Mammoth, California. Mammoth's right out there. And over in the background, over there, you can see Mount Ritter and Banner Peak. And what I'm climbing, um, this is surrounded by volcanic activity, but this is igneous rock. And what's really interesting about this, if you look right over here, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of granite. Um, and granite's made of three things. It's made of feldspar, mica, and quartz. And sometimes there's more of one of those than the other. And if you look straight down here, what I just climbed up, all of this, uh, this stuff right here, sorry, is quartz. These are giant quartz crystals, and you can see straight down that pitch I just climbed, um, huge quartz crystals to grab onto. Really fun stuff, and something you don't see in many places. I've never seen anything like this, um, and this is in the Sierra Nevada because of all the volcanic activity and the igneous rock that it's made of. Igneous rock, over time, can get weathered or eroded. So if there's erosion, it turns that rock into something called sediment. And sediment are basically all those little pieces of rock, all the sand and gravel you find at the bottom of a riverbed, for example, or at the bottom of a glacier. Now if that sediment is deposited in a spot and left there long enough, it can then form sedimentary rock. Hi, I'm in Pennsylvania and I'm looking at some sedimentary rock. This is sandstone next to where this river, or I'm sorry, not a river, but a creek's flowing. And if you take a close look, you can see the layers. Right here, right here, right here. And this is where the rock, before it was rock, it was laid down as little bits of sediment in layers one at a time and it hardened over a long, 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 long time. And now as the stream erodes it away, it peels away in little layers. You can see those now. And they're moving across horizontally. And then sedimentary rock, once again, could end up being melted back down into magma. The other thing that can happen to sedimentary rock is it could be exposed to heat and pressure, not enough heat and pressure to melt it, but enough heat and pressure to change the type of rock it is. And if it's changed in that way, it would become metamorphic rock. So here we have heat, pressure. Hi, Mr. Kish here. I'm at Sonoma State Beach. Uh, I'm actually at Blind Beach, which is one of the few beaches that allows dogs, so I'm hanging out with Emma. And what I wanted to show you is this rock. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of rocks sticking out from the ocean all around here, and a huge cliff on the side. But what is really interesting is this stuff right over here. And you can probably see all the different layers in it, and particularly, hang on, let me adjust the leash. If you take a look over here, you can see this rock with all these different layers in it that at one time were sedimentary. But if you get really close, this stuff is extremely dense and it's been compacted and bent through heat and pressure. And because we're on the California coast near a subduction zone where one 
tectonic plate goes under the other, this type of stuff forms. So this is sedimentary rock that was formed out in the ocean, and then it got turned into metamorphic, and that's why you see all these layers with bends in them and pearls. And it's no longer grainy, you can't really feel the actual pieces of sediment that were once there, because it's been compressed. So we've got these huge chunks of different types of metamorphic rock, and when you look closely, you can see how it was once sedimentary, and then those layers got bent all over the place. And one of the things you'll notice with these examples, sedimentary rock is usually deposited in layers. So you have these horizontal layers within the rock, usually they're there, and that depends on the size of the sediment. With really large sediments, you can actually see the chunks of igneous rock that it was made of, uh, with smaller sediments, it might be harder to see the layers, but there's usually these horizontal layers. If it's exposed to heat and pressure and turned into metamorphic rock, many times those layers will get bent and or twisted, such as they are here. Now, metamorphic rock, just like sedimentary, can be melted down and turned back into magma, which then could cool and become igneous rock. What I left out is igneous rock can also get melted down and turn back into magma without turning into any of the other kinds. I am in the Sierra Nevada near Banner Peak. Mount Banner Peak's right up there. Mount Ritter is on the other side. And we're not too far from Mammoth, uh, where the ski resort is. Most of the rock in the Sierra Nevada is igneous, meaning that it formed from magma that cooled beneath the Earth's surface. And then it got exposed through different weathering processes. The rock here is a little different. As you'll see, there's very sharp edges right up here and a lot of cracks and fractures in them. And this stuff is not igneous. It was here before the magma that formed the Sierra Nevadas was here. So this rock, whatever it was before, the heat of the magma and the pressure being underground changed it into metamorphic rock. Metamorphic rock could get eroded and turned into sediment and turned back into sedimentary rock. So what you have going on here is igneous rock could melt back down and turn into magma it could get eroded and turned into sedimentary rock. It could get exposed to heat and pressure and turned into metamorphic. Sedimentary rock can be exposed to heat and pressure and turned into metamorphic. Or it could be melted back down and turned into magma. Or it could get ground down into sediment and then turn back into another kind of sedimentary rock. Metamorphic can be melted, turned into magma, cooled and turned into igneous, or it could be eroded and turned into sedimentary rock. And that's why it's called the rock cycle.